In this lesson for Bobcad Cam, we're going to cover the tool patterns for the Cam portion of the software. To access this dialog, you'll right-click on Cam defaults in the Cam tree, and you'll go down to the Tool Pattern option. As you can see, this brings up the Tool Pattern Program dialog box, which allows you to choose your milling features or lathe features. If you expand both of these, you can see I have a lot of different operations in here. Now, the Tool Pattern handles the default operation templates for the machining strategies in the Cam Wizards. The tool pattern also provides control over the default operations used for all milling and lathe features. The benefit of using these is to be able to define commonly used strategies to save time when selecting the operations to use for a feature. The operations that are defined by each template can also be modified in the wizard at any time during the feature creation. And as you go into the, tool, uh, the features itself and you're actually creating the tool path and the settings and everything there, you can add and modify these as you go. So let's take a look at a couple of these. As you can see as I expand these out, each one of these will contain, contain the different operations for that type of a feature. So for your two axis, you have profiling, pocketing, facing, engraving, chamfer, and plunge rough. So if I click on profiling, for instance, these are the operations in the template, and these are the available ones that I can move back and forth in there. So if I go into a two axis strategy, and I choose the uh, profile operation, it's going to bring up these default as my template or tool pattern. I can change those here by simply choosing something on the left. So let's say my normal strategy is to rough a profile and then do two finishes, a standard finish and then a spring pass. So I can choose the profile finish and load it in again using the arrow here. So now that'll be my default template. Every time I call on that operation of profile, I can rough and finish finish in that operation without having to go adjust anything. That can be removed at any time on the toolpathing level as well. You can add a chamfer mill in, an engraving, all of these different operations are available to move back and forth. If I decide I don't want something in here, just simply click on it and hit the X to take it out. Same thing with pocketing. Now you'll notice in pocketing it's broke down to pocket, which is the normal rough out of the pocket, and then use the profile finish to come back and clean up the walls. If you don't want the profile finish in here, just simply remove it. It'll pocket it whether it's the size or just leaving stock. It can be added back in the same way. Same with drilling. I can go to hole, which is your drill. And you can see here the standard default for this is center drill drill and chamfer drill. Well, let's say in this one I don't want the chamfer drill, but maybe I want to have uh, a chamfer mill after it. So I want it to drop down and mill around, kind of like a profile operation, and then just plunging with the chamfer. So these allow you to change different default patterns here. Remember, we're looking at the defaults. Again, on the toolpath level, uh, when you're creating the operations in the toolpaths, you'll be able to modify these on the fly as well. So if at that point you decide, you know what, I need to step drill the hole and I need to add another drill in, you can do that there. Um, but if that's your standard, you want to make this set to your standard operating procedure in your shop. Same with the three axis. If I come in here, these are all the different three axis operations. Now the three axis has down at the bottom of it four standard strategies that we've set up some basic options for you in here. You can modify these to use however you want. You'll see these appear above the different uh, three axis operations when you're going to do the tool pass. So strategy one we'll call a Z level rough and a, rough and a planer together. Strategy two we'll call a Z level rough, a Z level finish and a planer. Strategy three, we'll call it advanced rough in the flatlands. And strategy four, we'll call it advanced rough twice, so maybe you can rough it and then rest machine it. Flatlands, Z-level finish, and an equidistant offset. So you can see you can set up all of these defaults as you want. So not only do we give you the basic operations, we give you on this one four default strategies that you can create your own custom um, operation of how you work in the shop. So you don't have to worry about switching those around on the fly. Let's go down and take a look at lathe, and lathe, lathe is going to be the same way. Now, lathe allows you to choose the different operations, turning templates, hole templates, taps, threads, cutoffs, and so forth. So, for instance, on the rough, I can click on that, and you can see it's just calling a rough. If I want to add another rough to it or a pattern repeat, I can do that in here as well. As well as the hole, you can see here, if I go to hole here, it's calling a center drill and a drill. If I just want to call the drill, I can simply remove the center drill from it or add them back in. 
Whether it's mill or lathe, these strategies work the same way on the modifications and customizations of them. Down here at the bottom, you have an import button. So if you have an older version of Bobcad and you want to, you've got some uh, strategies set up in that version that you want to import to this one, you want to use this button here. Simply direct it back to that older version of software, and then load in the tool pattern. This concludes this lesson.